Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do another general sort of day in the life vlog. The plan for today is, we, it's going to be quite a busy day actually. Um, I'm at, currently doing a few bits around the flat decorating and stuff. I decorated the hall yesterday, I've got my bedroom to redo today. Um, so you'll get a bit of, to get to see a bit of that. Um, I'm also going to be going to the dentist today um, to get a, for a hygienist appointment which I'm not completely looking forward to, to be honest. Um, I've never been to the hygienist before, so we've got that around midday. Um, we are going to go to the gym at some point, so I will definitely remember to take my camera with me and we will get some footage of that. Um, and then I've just got some various other bits to do. As you can see, well, potentially can see, the flat's not in the tightest at the moment because I've moved stuff around and we're getting things sorted. So that's the idea for today, but first, because I'm absolutely starving, we're going to get some breakfast in me, so let's go and have some breakfast. Okay guys, so I have my breakfast sorted. Um, I basically just have a sausage and egg sandwich. I'm aware that this isn't the, mo the healthiest of foods, um, and I obviously am trying to promote healthy eating and healthy living um, but I am in a stage of bulking now I want to get a bit bigger for the winter um, I've, I figured that considering that I'm not going to be worrying about taking my top off and going on the beach and stuff um, now is a prime opportunity to start thinking about gaining some serious mass and even though I'm potentially going to be losing some of my leanness so I'm quite a hard gainer I really struggle to gain muscle and gain weight so I'm doing what it takes to, to get there and even if that means eating some fried food that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to tuck into this guys and then I'll catch you guys in a bit. Um, if you have any uh, queries about my diet, about anything that I'm doing, make sure you stick um, a comment in the comment section below. If you haven't already, needless to say, like this video and subscribe to, to the channel. Um, and any, any queries that you have about anything that I'm doing um, or any suggestions for new content, like I say, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. But for the meantime, guys, I'm going to tuck into my breakfast because I'm starving and I have other shit to do. <laughs> okay, guys, so that is breakfast done. Um, so I had, the obviously, the sausage sandwich and I had a mug of tea as well. Um, a lot of people will talk about getting in your macros and all the rest of it. Now, I use MyFitnessPal. Um, it's... Uh, an app for those of you that don't know that's powered by Under Armour and it just allows you to track your calories throughout the day and they do um, have a setup that you can input what your specifics are i.e. what you want to achieve be it gain weight, lose weight, whatever uh, and then they will give you a rough balance on how much food you should be eating um, and how much weight you should therefore increase um, over a set period of time uh, it's a very useful app um, if you haven't downloaded it I suggest you do um, even if it just gives you an idea of how many calories in certain foods because it's always useful to know so that when you don't have your phone on you or you can't track your calories properly you still have a, a, an eyeball figure that you can roughly um, figure out how much you're eating basically now in terms of macros I'm not particularly keeping my macros like in check if that makes sense um, I am trying to keep my proteins up quite high um, so uh, I'm sort of doing the whole one pound of body fat or one pound of muscle or whatever it is um, equates to the same amount of, of proteins um, so I am uh, currently trying to, to get my protein in just so that you know I am gaining muscle rather than just getting fat um, and I am increasing my calories but by a small percentage one of the biggest things that I see people do and I've probably done it myself in the past as well is I like the idea of bulking and so as soon as I decide I'm going to bulk I shove loads and loads of food in my face and then I start to feel and see myself get fluffy and, and then I get scared that I'm going to lose all my gains or I'm going to get fat and then like I cut myself my food back again. The important thing about cutting and about bulking is not doing anything dramatic. Um, do it over a period of time. Okay, results don't happen overnight, we all know that um, and your diet is exactly the same. If you all of a sudden rush and eat a load of food like your body's going to adapt initially it isn't going to adapt very quickly but it's going to soon start to adapt and to store a lot of the fat that you're eating if you're cutting 
um, and you all of a sudden drop all your calories down, you're going to lose a lot of the, the hard work that you've put in because your body's going to start digesting a lot of that muscle and you're going to get really skinny. So doing a gradual progression um, is the important thing. Um, so I am currently getting in about 3,000 calories a day. Um, I know a lot of people get in sort of twice that much when they're on a bulk, but like I say, for me, um, until I start to see those figures, those numbers and the scales going up, until I start to notice a difference, I'm going to stick with what I'm on now, and if I don't see a difference, I'll up them a little bit more. Um, that's the important thing. It's it's trying something. If, you, if it doesn't work, it's changing what you're, you're doing. Um, so anyway, guys, I am going to get on and do some painting. Um, I will record a little bit of what I do, but for the most part, it's going to be quite messy, and I don't want to get on my camera covered in paint uh, and equally it's probably going to be a bit boring because I'm just going to be painting walls um, and then the next time you see me I'll I don't know I'll be doing something so uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit right everyone so I've uh, managed to run out of the sort of tape that you stick around the door frames um, so um, fortunately for me being cues around the corner but it does mean I need to go and buy some more so uh, I'm just on my way to do that I'll probably have a look to see what else is in there because you know it's always nice to buy little bits and bobs around the flat um, and then, yeah, I will get back at it, tape up the rest of the bedroom and then stick a first coat of paint on. Um, that's the plan. Um, I'm not sure, it, it, this might take me a bit longer than the haul, just because yeah, this time yesterday I was already painting, so we will see. Right guys, so I have it, it's this frog tape stuff, that stuff. It's actually really good, and um, you can see it behind me on the doors, I've used it in the living room as well. Um, it, it peels off really easily, it doesn't take stuff with you, so it means you can put it on paint and other things and, it, and it's all good. So I'm going to use this, I'm going to stick it round, and then I'm going to stick the first coat on as soon as I can, because the sooner that I put the paint on, the sooner it dries, the sooner I can put another coat on. It's, uh, it's just one of those things, the more you paint, the quicker you paint, the better you paint. So, right, I'm going to get on with it, and see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so I have put the first coat on, you can see it's looking nice and white, with the exception for that wall, which is meant to be grey and there you go so I've finished the first coat um, I have changed back into my normal non-painted clothes because in about an hour I have my dentist appointment so I want to make sure that I'm looking a bit fresher rather than covered in paint and all that crap um, I have got a delivery I'm going to show you guys my delivery I've got an exciting new purchase I'm going to try them on do a bit of an unpacking for you guys um, so we're going to do that now okay guys so my delivery, it is here. Um, I picked myself up a new pair of gym shoes because my ones, although I absolutely love the Night Rusher runs, the, the soles are just getting so thin now because I've had them for such a long time. So um, I needed an upgrade. It was about time I got one. So here they are. These are going to be, when I open them in a minute, um, the new, well I say new, they're not new, um, but the Nike Vapor Maxes. Um, I've been looking for a pair of these for ages, I really love them. Um, I was a bit unsure when they first came out, but I've, I've slowly fallen in love with them. Um, I've never worn a pair, so I'm going to open these up and I'm going to give you guys a bit of an unboxing. So it looks like it's come in the fairly original packaging, I expect they probably bought them from JD. Let's open this up. They come in their original box, and there it is. Box has a little bit of a break, but that is fine. But there we go, the Nike Vapor Max, the Vapor Max logo on the side, and I got them in a size nine because that's my shoe size. So here they are. So these ones are um, green with like darker colours on the outside. We're gonna pick them up for you now. There they are. They are looking fire. So, there we go. So those are the box, and the box has just come with the generic Vapormax stuff inside of it. But here we go. This is the Vapormax. I've got the fly knit ones. Um, they are like a khaki green on top with like a dark brown on the sides. They're well, not dark brown, it's like a, a, a grey colour, dark grey. Um, and then it's obviously got the tubular at the bottom um, and yeah and then it's got the laces they're in pretty good condition like I say um, they're not brand new they have been used 
um, but they look like they've only been used a couple of times. Um, I'm going to try these on and let you guys know what I think. They're looking good. Right guys, so I'm wearing the Vapor Maxes now. There they are, if I can show you those. I'm going to be honest guys, they're comfy as hell. Um, you know when you look at a pair of shoes and you see other people wearing them and you're always a bit like, are they going to be comfortable? They look like they could be a bit weird and you sort of imagine in your head what they might feel like. Well, I was a bit like that with these because obviously, as you can see, they've got the bubble bits at the bottom. There you go. I was a little bit unsure as to whether or not you'd feel them, but like actually it fits like a glove. They're so comfortable. They are a little bit like... They feel, have a very similar feel to my Russia Runs, but they're a little bit tighter and a bit more comfortable. Um, I say comfortable. Not comfortable, but like they just fit differently. I think it's probably because they're a bit more of a modern shoe, a bit more of a modern design. Um, if you can pick yourself up a pair, guys, definitely do it. Um, I'm going to work out in these today because I've not been to the gym yet. I've got the new shoes. Of course, I'm going to try them out. Um, I potentially am going to do a leg session. Um, normally when I squat, which I expect I'll do, I take my shoes off because I like a very firm, sort of solid base to my to my squat and the Russia runs being foam based, they aren't. Um, I might initially try these but I don't know, um, I will see. They feel more solid than the Russia runs because they, the Russia runs obviously have that foam um, but we'll see. Um, anyway guys, I'm going to take these off of my feet <laughs> um, because I don't really want to go out in them in my jeans, They're, they are my gym shoes, I'm going to try and keep them to that. Um, and then I'm going to get uh, ready, may clean my teeth once more because obviously I'm going to the dentist. And as good as these gnashes are, um, they're going to give them a good old polish and a clean up. So the cleaner they are before I go, the better. Um, so I will catch you guys when I'm out. Right guys, so I am in the dentist, about to get the gnashes cleaned. Uh, I will see you guys on the other side. Right guys, and I'm back. Uh, they have done their hygienisty stuff, um, and as I suspected, based on my previous uh, dental history, I didn't really need to get it done. Um, but she gave me a bit of a polish, a bit of a clean, advised me, gave me some toothbrush test things that I can use. Um, so, can't be bad. Right guys, well, I'm gonna head back now. Um, finally get something to eat, because obviously I've not eaten because of the dentist. Um, and then carry on with the painting, so. I'll see you guys when I'm back at home. What is going on guys? So I am back. I am back in the flat. Now, as I said, I'm going to get some food because I'm starving. Unfortunately, I have barely any food in the house. So at some point, I'm going to have to go to the shops because I need some food. Uh, but what I do have is I've got some bacon here. I've got some eggs. Uh, so I'm going to make myself a bacon and egg sandwich. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> before you're thinking it, I'm aware that it's probably really bad for me. But I don't give a shit anyway. Uh, <laughs> to put it frank. Um, I'm probably also going to grab a coffee or something as well uh, and then I will hit a protein shake after my legs work out a bit later on. Um, so I'm going to get this on the go and then once I've eaten I'm going to get back at the painting because I've only put one coat on and I need to put more. So we're going to get this in me and I will guess check back in with you in a minute. Okay guys, so I've just got some food in me, um, I'm feeling pretty good and so what I'm going to do now is pack my stuff and I'm going to go to the gym. Um, I'm going to do a legs day just because I feel like it. Uh, I'm going to take my new Vapor Maxes and I'm going to show you exactly what I get up to. Um, I am going to take my camera this time, I'm going to remember, it's going to happen, it's on the table, I can see it right now. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys what I get up to, so let's go smash a good day of legs.
Okay guys, so just finished the leg workout, like I say, I remembered to take my camera, so I got it all, although the battery was dying, so I need to charge it, but I got it all, all of my workout. Just did a smashing leg session, literally, my legs thought they are going to break. <laughs> um, started off with some squats, felt pretty good, leg press, extensions, did some calf work at the end, feeling pretty good. So I'm going to go back now, uh, grab a shake, do probably one more coat of paint on my walls, um, and then... Well, I need to go food shopping, so we'll see what the time is, see when Laura finishes, and then it's time to go and get some food. So, but I need to get a protein shake in me because I'm dying. <laughs> see you guys back at the flat. What's going on guys? So we're back in the kitchen, and like I said before, we are gonna make a protein shake. So, like I said before, um, in my previous videos, I use uh, one of these, this is called Tower. Um, there is the more expensive Nutribullet, bullet, um, but this is what I use because it was a lot cheaper and it's effectively the same thing. Um, so in here I'm going to put about 300 ml to 400 ml of milk. So I'll get some semi-skimmed milk from the fridge. Um, pour that much, which when I've measured it out in the past is about 300 ml. Um, so we're going to stick with that. I'm then going to use some of my PhD um, mass, growth factor mass protein. Um, it says it's a high protein mass formula, but um, we're basically going to use one of those. So, open this up, pop a scoop of that in there. And then, because I'm bulking, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add some peanut butter to it just for the added calories. Um, added fats and obviously the added protein. So, now this is um, an American brand, it's called Jif. Um, I, a, a volunteer where I used to work, um, she's the American and she was able to get to the American base, so she got me a, a, a tub. Um, it's high in protein as well, so it's not just all fats, which is good. Get a teaspoon, and I think I'm going to add two heat teaspoons to this because I've just done a leg session, so probably not like quite that much. Oh well, screw it. So that's probably about two and a half teaspoons, heap teaspoons worth. I've got peanut butter everywhere. Right, once you've done that, put the lid on. Um, if you want to, you can add other stuff to it. Normally I also add a banana, but I don't have any bananas at the moment. Um, and then switch it on, turn it over. That's your protein shake done. So it's very quick, very easy, saves you shaking it. If you can get your hands on a, a blender like that, do. Um, but like I say, make sure you get one that's affordable. Um, that cost me like, not even half the price. It cost me about 30 pounds um, for, this, for this blender. And it came like <clears throat> a selection of different size pots. So there you go guys, there is the protein shake. Good, really good. So I'm gonna get this in me, I'm gonna carry on decorating. Get changed and I'm going to paint loads of my gym stuff and I'll see you guys in a bit. Right guys, so we are back from food shopping. Um, Laura is currently messing about with the laundry. Um, Tidy and me. Um, uh, we've just put the food shopping down. I might as well actually put this down, there we go. Uh, and uh, we're going to have some pizzas and various other good bits for dinner tonight. Um, we've both got the day off tomorrow. Um, so we're probably going to do something tomorrow. I don't know what yet, but we'll figure it out. So this evening we'll probably have a couple of drinks, watch a film, have some food, have some snacks, all that fun stuff. So, um, yeah, see you guys when we've got some pizza. Right guys, so we've finally got around to getting some food. Um, this is what I'm currently involved with. So, I've got uh, a burger there. I've got a pint of beer, because why not? And we've also got some of these uh, hummus pot things, um, a sour cream and chive dip. There's a selection of things, so there's a red one there. I know this isn't very descriptive, is it? So, there is beetroot and spicy horseradish, basil with pesto and parmesan, and then sun uh tomato and basil. And then we've got various other snackages here. To have with it and ready for our film which Laura is in the process of setting up now that 
let me just refocus. There we go. That and the fact that we've also got pizzas of it in the oven, um, and there's garlic bread on the side, leads for a good amount of food. So, right, guys. So we're just chilling now. Laura's snuggled up in her dressing gown. Um, we have some giant chocolate buttons. I'm on my second beer, and we're watching a film. So I'm gonna leave this video here. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if you have, make sure you leave this video a like. If you've got any comments about this video or you want anything else that you wanna see, leave a comment in the comment section. Make sure you guys subscribe. Um, if you haven't already, go and check me out on Instagram because I'm uploading on Instagram pretty much daily. Whereas obviously I only upload a video every few days. Um, so until next time guys, have a good one and peace out.